the story, lads. This week, I am in bed with the most extreme man I've ever been in bed with, Mr. Tommy Dreamer. I like that intro. It's only true. So, Tommy, would you like a drink? I have a coffee. I'm Are you one of them wrestlers that don't drink? I do not drink. You do not drink? Oh, okay, no. I'll get that away from you. I yourself. never You don't drank. mind if I do. You can do whatever you want. Right. I only drank when I tagged with a wrestler named The Sandman. And uh, during his entrance, which was to enter the Sandman, four minutes and 44 seconds. I usually used to drink three to four beers. In that time? Yeah, before his entrance. And then we'd also bash the beers on our head. And we'd be the only wrestlers bleeding before the match even started. Wow. We so you just stupid. walk out We were hardcore, though. And yeah. I got to lay in bed with you. Look where it got me. But that, yeah, exactly. Pretty much the best. Oh, of the this story. is the worst bed I've ever been on. With a hot chick. Excuse uh, me. My it's ass gotten is me really, through a really lot. big, and uh, I'm deflating it as we speak. Yeah, but well, you're raising me up. Do you not like the oh, leopard oh, oh. print? It's kind of it's very it's stylish. It's very, sex- very sexy. I don't like your condoms. Why not? They're not magnums. Maybe you don't know about Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> oh well. And, uh, maybe I'll find out. <laughs> this is a nice shag rug, as yeah. you guys would say in your country. So speaking of bed and so on, mm-hmm. you're quite known for pile driving women. Yes. Every woman you can. Uh, I have pile driven a lot of women. When yes. are you gonna pile drive me? When the camera is turned off. How about yes. That? Sounds like a plan. Right. So out of all the women that you pile drives, who smelled the worst? Ooh, that's a very <laughs> very touchy. Actually, I've been blessed to share the ring with a lot of. Uh, great athletes and nobody smelled I would have to say you because you're holding a cigarette and that's oh. a huge turn off for a dude for me you don't Just get it though you know. don't get it the thing is well, where, how, I, how I smell down there is kind of you smell like what beer and cigarettes my... like I, that's like you can find like at any pub like that come welcome on welcome to Dublin that's what that's what we're like over here I'm just I'm just your average Dublin girl read what this says right here get over it stop yeah. smoking how old are you you never ask a lady like me that. Okay, I never ask a lady. So how old are you? <laughs> well, um, so I was in I bed. I tied the host, everybody. Come on, <laughs> I'm a pro. I was in bed with yep. Joey Ryan, and he gave me the information. Yeah, super he's not dong style. Yeah, yep. his, that's his power. What's yours? I have many, many superpowers. I guess my power is to absorb punishment because I've been wrestling for 27 years. I broke my neck. I broke my back. I've broken. 14 fingers, which sucks because you only have 10. I've you torn my to. pec. I don't know how many times I broke the other ones. I've torn my pec, torn my biceps, tore my shoulder, and guess what? I've never had a surgery. Really? Surgery is for quitters. Always remember that. And what, what if you needed a surgery in the next few years? Um, I think when my body finally just breaks down, I'm going to get everything fixed. I'm also going to get like hair implants, maybe breast implants, uh, abs, lipo. Yeah. Just get a whole, a whole new Tommy Dream and I have a whole new career to go for. I broke my neck and I didn't know I broke it and I kept wrestling. Mm-hmm. And then your body naturally heals itself, but it healed wrong and then I blew out my back. And, and still no surgery? Nope. Oh, how I fixed it, I uh, had a wrestler... Body slammed me on the uh, concrete, and I felt a little good. And I don't recommend anyone do that, but that's how I kept going. And, well, if it worked uh, for you, that could save a lot of money for people. No, don't do it. <laughs> well, we can't all be as lucky as Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> so, one thing we do here, mm-hmm. on our road trips, we like to, uh, you know, it gets boring. You're chatting. You run out, you, no one likes to talk wrestling all day. So, we all like to have a little game. Fuck, marry, kill. Do you okay. ever play it? I have. Right. So, do you mind if I play it with you? Sure. Right. So, fuck, marry, kill. We'll go with Joey Ryan. Mm-hmm. Mm, Bubba Ray Dudley. Oof. Yeah. And... Ellen DeGeneres. Well... Just remember now, if you, if you hate on her... I'm not here, I would never hate on her. She so makes me laugh, she's I like her, and she's the only person her. with a vagina. So I would have to say... I don't know if she would allow me to. Would but you I would have, driver? Yes. <laughs> but I would have to uh, say, have sex with her because she has a vagina. And what about marry? I'm not there yet. You said fuck, marry, kill. Yeah. So I'd have to, the F word to Ellen. Ellen. Really? Well, she has a vagina. I'm not, no, no, not no, going to bang no. big fat Bubba and I don't want to bang <laughs> Joey Ryan you because don't they're dudes. You don't have to look at like that though. You're That's like, how I'm looking. The way, the way it is, say I gave you three fellas. It's kind of the case, you know, 
As in, you could spend game. one night with a fella, like just hanging I, out with a mate. You could spend one night with him, but I really couldn't game. hang around with him for the rest of my life. No, you said have sex with, so I have to pick any woman over any two dudes. Joey, you've heard the rumors about Joey Ryan, man. We I'm all not know into it. dudes. It's okay. It I don't, might be after a night with no, Joey Ryan. No, I listen. I posted a naked picture of myself on Instagram with the ECW title covering me. I had so many likes on it, but I also had 22 straight up DMs for sex on Instagram. And I never knew about that. <laughs> and uh, actually I actually had 24. 18 of them were dudes. <laughs> Two were catfish, which I'm currently dating. I love <laughs> them both. And the rest were uh, women. But I'm in the gay community and I'm not homophobic whatsoever. I appreciate all my fans. Uh, but and I've had to actually block people on social media because they were sending me disgusting pictures that you know I actually felt like a, a yeah, woman. Yeah, I'm still upset I was about getting, that. I was way. getting hit on by a lot of dudes, and uh, I'm a bear in the gay community, and uh, I'm okay with that. You know that sucks when you're getting older because when you're old, you're younger, you get all the girls. Like I wonder like sometimes how Ric Flair goes from like you know he used to be with all the girls riding Space Mountain, and now he gets older, and you're like, oh, you're an older man. Yeah. So I'm 45 now, so I went from like having a lot of hot women, you know, but now I have like all dudes hitting on me. So, and me. Okay, well, that's cool. Like, I, I'm If you don't that. have a, a penis, we're good. So now I will change it. I'll fuck you. <laughs> I'll marry Bubba because him and I are like a married couple anyway because we just fight and like hate each other. And, and we're not uh, quite have, there yet. No, and then I'll have to kill Joey Ryan. Really? Yeah. Uh, why would you do that to Joey? I'm giving you, you gave me three options. But I, uh, don't I'll take I mean, I'd, I'd rather game. not be killed in this situation. But uh, still, that's mean. I'm sorry. Well, Tommy, thank you Get for coming into bed with me. You're welcome. I'm going to use them. No, we're not. <laughs> they won't fit. <laughs> Thanks for coming into bed with thank me. Thank you for having me, and I'm sorry if I pop your bed. <laughs> I've been Martina, and you've been in bed with me. I'm Tommy Dreamer, and I got extreme in Martina's bed, and it got so hot and heavy, I popped the damn thing. <laughs>